This video is not intended to be used for diagnosis of any medical condition. Patients seeking diagnosis should consult a physician. It is important for you to carefully read the owner's manual before operating. This video brought to you by Invacare Corporation, the world's leading manufacturer of home oxygen equipment. Connie Deacon with some very important consumer information on the different ways in which patients use and receive oxygen. If you're watching this video, most likely it's because your doctor has prescribed supplemental oxygen for the treatment of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. More than half of the one million oxygen patients are under the age of 65. Just because your doctor has prescribed oxygen doesn't mean you have to stop being active. In fact, studies have shown that staying active will improve both your health and your quality of life. The level of oxygen you use and the length of treatments have been determined by your doctor. A nasal cannula supplies the oxygen. To discuss the importance of your oxygen therapy, we spoke with a respiratory therapist. There have been a number of scientific studies that have documented the importance of using long-term oxygen therapy at home. The most important and, and often referenced study is what we call the NOT study. And the NOT study was a nocturnal oxygen therapy trial that was done in 1980. And the most important outcome of that was that it found that patients that adhere to their physician's prescription live longer and more productive lives. Long-term oxygen therapy is typically prescribed for patients with chronic lung disorders who have a lower than normal level of oxygen in their blood. This low level of blood oxygen is called chronic hypoxemia, and it is not life-threatening as long as it is not left untreated. Since you've been prescribed home oxygen, it's going to require that you use some type of oxygen equipment on a daily basis. The most important thing for you is to choose the system that most closely approximates your daily lifestyle. You should not view your oxygen prescription as a negative. If you follow your doctor's prescription, you can continue to lead a very active life. Where does the oxygen come from? There are several systems for ambulatory oxygen, and unfortunately, this is where things can get confusing. Let me clear some things up for you. You can either have your oxygen delivered to your home every few weeks by a home health care provider, or you can make your own oxygen at your convenience. The choice is yours. First, I'd like to discuss having oxygen delivered. There are two ways that oxygen can be delivered to your home, liquid oxygen and oxygen cylinders. All oxygen services and equipment will be supplied to you by a home health care provider. With liquid oxygen, a large tank or vessel called a Dewar's will be delivered to your home. This vessel stays in your home at all times and acts as your oxygen supply. The tank needs a dry, stable area with no obstructions. You'll refill your portable tank from the large vessel, or you can directly attach your cannula to the tank with a long hose. When the vessel is empty, you need to schedule a refill with the home oxygen provider you've chosen. Because your only option for oxygen delivery is that single provider, you're subject to their availability. The service agent will remove the vessel from your house, then refill the vessel from a large storage tank in the truck. After the vessel has been refilled, it will be brought back into your home by the technician. Another option for delivered oxygen is oxygen cylinders. Individual oxygen cylinders are delivered to your home by a home health care provider. Based on your prescribed oxygen flow rate, a two-week supply is standard. The average size cylinder requires a cart for portability. When your supply runs low, you need to call your provider to schedule a delivery. Plus, you need to have a safe storage place for all those cylinders, like a large closet or secure storage room. <laughs> you
You can also choose to make your own oxygen in your home with either a cylinder filling system or a portable oxygen concentrator. There's only a one time delivery and setup. Once you have your equipment, you're ready to go. The Invacare Home Fill Oxygen Filling System is a self-contained unit where you can fill your own cylinders at your convenience. The cylinders come in a variety of sizes. The portable oxygen cylinders fit into a handy shoulder or waist pack that makes it easy to be on the move. And you refill the tanks whenever you want at your convenience. The transportable oxygen concentrator, called Solo 2, is a smaller oxygen concentrator that can easily be moved around the house or packed for travel. It allows you to work around your home or use at bedtime. It has a continuous flow mode or can conserve oxygen with a pulse dose setting. The Solo 2 runs on AC, DC, or battery power. You can even plug it into your car. The convenient Solo 2 supplies you with continuous oxygen where and when you need it. The XPO2 portable concentrator is designed to be lightweight and easy to use. It provides you with a never-ending supply of oxygen on the go. The battery and AC, DC power options make it easy for patients to go just about anywhere without the fear of running out of oxygen. Because of the portable design, you can do what you want to do when you want to do it. As you can see, non-delivery oxygen products are efficient, self-contained, and provide you with a freedom to make your own oxygen. Studies have shown that patients who stick to their oxygen regimen and walk regularly have a 50% higher survival rate than patients who don't. As you can see, oxygen has proven to be an extremely effective treatment. We've talked about the different ways in which it's delivered, the ways in which you can make your own oxygen. The most important thing is to stick to your oxygen regimen. So when choosing your oxygen source, consider the system that's the most convenient and right for you. Remember, the choice is yours. I hope this has been informed. Thanks for watching. I'm Connie Deacon.